Good morning, pizza people. We are back today with the homie Eli Tri. Eli, We're totally <laughs> in the morning right now and not recording. I okay at eleven p.m. I will say I, I always say good morning, pizza people. That's my normal intro. I got called like I, I, <laughs> I will say it's it's the it's the normal intro, man. It's the normal one. No, I'm and brain been drinking. I'm only on YouTube Shorts. I can only watch YouTube Shorts. You don't say that on your YouTube Shorts. We are your favorite YouTube Shorts cartoon creators. Back today for actual long form video and rank the regular show cartoon foods and regular shows one of those like shows where like every food is either one of the most like actually good things that you've ever seen it's like something that you dead ass would probably kill somebody behind or it's something that would send you to another dimension and ruin your life completely and so today we're just gonna be ranking back and forth which ones we want to try and uh which ones might make us die first one up i'm gonna say First one. The caffeinated coffee bean. The caffeinated coffee bean. Okay. So, so with the coffee, we're gonna start with the coffee bean, right? It's, it's yeah. A, it's a very specific choice. Uh, the image we chose for this, you know, we didn't debate too much on it, but I, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big coffee drinker, so like, we're, I feel like I'd put them at an A. Like, now hold on here. I like coffee as much as the next guy, but this is like coffee that is permeated through a um, a living creature's tit. But like, we drink milk. We do drink milk. Like, if, if we if if I slaughtered him first, I think I'd fuck I'd fuck it up. We drink milk from like a cow or a goat, not like a, a big sweaty fat guy. Is he a sorry. guy? Or is he just a bean? I don't know. Either A or B tier. Depending on what the answer to that question is. Do you like coffee? Uh, I like coffee, yeah. I'm, I think we, I think A tier. That's an A tier We'll do A tier, yeah. He, he's, he's A tier material. Like, I'm sipping straight from the, the titty if I have to. I might. I'm not even going to hold you. It depends on the day. The death sandwich. How we feeling about the death sandwich? The death. Let me search exactly what's on that real quick. Do you like meatball subs? I do like meatball subs. Is it just a meatball sub? It's a. Well, of course it gives you powers, right? So. It. Yeah, it's just. It should just be be a meatball sub. I think it's just like the hairstyle and the jean and the like the cut jeans and shit that like make it less. They have it, it double more. stacked. So yeah, yeah, I think I think you're going B. I a feel like you're gonna be. Go. I'm, I'm gonna put it at a B only because I feel like after eating like a double stack meatball sub, you're gonna be sweating like hard as fuck. And I think that's yeah. why they got you wearing like a white tee and on top of it like some jean shorts. Like you're gonna be hot as oh, fuck. Oh, you after better have uh, AC in your car. Damn, and it gives you superpowers. That's just gonna be wait. Doesn't it have side effects? The only side effect is you die if you're not wearing the right clothes when you eat it. That's crazy. Okay. Damn. So as long as you have a mullet and uh, jean cut off shorts, you're a-okay. I think that holds it back from being an A or S tier. Purely because like you need to like be in the right mood or you die. It's a B tier food though. It's a B tier food. True. But, okay, the hot dogs that eat each other. Are you a glizzy gobbler, Eli? Uh, I like hot dogs as much as the next guy, but I'm not gonna... I, I say these guys should be in D tier. Here's why. These are hot dogs that have been sitting in a freezer for God knows how long. That's true. So on top of they the freezer, They go to the bro. very back of the freezer, and what do they find? These guys. They've probably been there for a decade. I wouldn't eat that. Imagine eating a hot dog with freezer burn that like eats you from inside out. That would kill you. That, that'd be sick. <laughs> That's actually very sick. No, nah, that fuck you up. Let's do Rigby's juice. Rig juice. Let me see what's in here real quick. Was it as good as the Brain Max, or was it better? 
So here are the known ingredients. One can of soda, frozen fruit punch concentrate, a bottle of hot sauce plus the glass bottle. Plus the glass? Yes. Okay. Sugar frosted sugar bombs, candy and candy wrappers, an apple, sardines, pickles and pickle juice, an orange, and 300 milligrams of dextromethorphan. So methamphetamine? More like the Adderall side of things, but pretty much. How do you get that? Let me Google that real quick. They actually allow that? Be like a... Yeah, that's... I'm surprised the it's cartoon... It's basically morphine. I'm surprised the Cartoon Network censors let that, like, slip. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I'm drinking some grape juice. I'm, I'm putting it in this of, um, Part of me wants to say D tier here, because I'm not a big fan of glass, sardines, and candy wrappers in a drink. But part of me wants to say A tier, because I'm a big fan of, like, a ton of morphine in it. I feel like the morphine gets you through the glass and the candy wrappers. Yeah. And there's soda and a bunch of juice. That's an eight. That's an S tier drink. That's an S tier drink, honestly. All right, Brain Max. Uh, doesn't have any ingredients here. Nobody knows what it tastes like, but it does make you smarter. So it probably just tastes like cough syrup, really. But it does make you really smart, so it might be worth it. I'm gonna put it at a C, because I feel like I would rather grind out my knowledge. Like, imagine you like drink it and you, it's like a shroom, it's like a really bad shroom or acid trip. Like, it's like you're finding out shit that you've always wanted to find out, but it would cost. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they were tweaking hard as fuck off of that shit. We'll say it's like C tier regularly, but A tier when you're on a hike. It's a smooth B. Yeah. B tier. A B tier on a hike. Yeah. Let's see, let's do Mallard's birthday cake. What, it's a birthday cake. What flavor, though? I don't know, I'm a big fan of uh, vanilla birthday cake, you know? If it's a vanilla, it's a C. But anything else, I would put it at a D. I'm not even gonna hold you, that's a C tier cake. That's gonna stay I don't like cakes like that, because it's usually too much icing, too much sugar. Eh, I feel sick afterwards. Yeah, I'm an ice cream cake type of guy. Hell yeah. Every meat burrito. That's gotta go in A tier. That's a fucking A tier. Have you ever... Because have you meat had the burrito. Sonic b meat burritos? The, the Sonic burritos are just like this. I swear to God. Probably, I... It's it's the okay so Sonic has these breakfast burritos that have ham and sausage in them, and they are so fucking good with egg. And like, when I eat the every, when I think about the every meat burrito, it's an A tier because I think I could eat that like genuinely without like throwing up. Like that's a post workout. That's post gym. That's that. Does that include human meat though? I. I can't see all the ingredients in here. I bet there's something wild in there. There's definitely a zebra in there or something. It's the regular show universe, so I wouldn't blame them. Yeah. If I want to say, if I if I don't get any human in it, it's a solid A. It reminds me of the Sonic Breakfast Burritos. So I'm going to fuck with it. The Mississippi Queen, if you know what I mean. How there is with? so much wild shit in that drink. They have kimchi, okay. pasta sauce, sashimi, chuko, oh. Oh my soy sauce, clamshells, shrimp, mayo, and hot chili peppers. You know what? On, on a night where like I'm at, I'm going through it, hell yeah. <laughs> Hell. Oh, no, no, you're going through it. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's one of those I just got dumped type of drinks. I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe if I can, like... It might make a good dip, honestly. 
See, but I don't know if I just eat it raw. See, but the dip is taking it too easy. Like that's one of those you got to experience the night with this. You gotta hop on the Sigma grind set. Yeah, you gotta like dead ass muscle your way straight through this. This is a S tier okay. drink. Damn. Oh my god, a lot of things in this show are it. Do you agree? How do you feel? I think it, I think it's at least A tier. I could go S. I'm because I'm sipping a Mississippi Queen on my roughest night. Look, it's got flavor in there. It's got kimchi. It's got like tomato sauce. Like it got it's crunch. It's not just super spicy, and it's it's got food in there. It's got shrimp. It's got clams. It's essentially a very liquidy drunk salsa. Yeah, that's like a that's a that's a spicy seafood sauce. That's what it is. Where where are we putting the pork picnic? So it's a grilled cheese sandwich. It has like pork and coleslaw on it. I don't like coleslaw. Sounds fine. Also mid. I need a B tier or C tier. We can put that. I'm just, I, I fucking hate coleslaw. Like it's so gross. Like. I think it's all right on like pork and nothing else. It's like frozen weird salad. Yeah. I don't That's why it's okay on pork and nothing else. That's a C tier. I gotta move that down. C tier. If you if it's gotta be for and it's on sandwich bread, yeah, fuck that. Let's I don't see. know. Have you ever had like a Reuben? I don't even like Reubens. Really? I would never eat Arby's in my life. Okay. I I'd probably be terrified of the person that asked me to go to Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> let's see the bistro what's this place that is the really fancy restaurant they go to they they go there in a few episodes um when so mordecai and cj go on a date there and then muscle man meets starless parents there it's in a couple episodes here they have really fancy stuff. They have lobster. They have filet mignon. They got uh, steak, they... salad, all you know, the whole nine yards. Do they do all of this to still eat wings, anyways? Yeah, they do all that and then just still eat wings, anyways. Yeah, they're D tier. They... Yeah, you know, it's like one of those places you pay fifty dollars for a twenty dollars steak. Yeah, Olive Garden. Steak me, Amadeus. I mean, they have Amadeus bucks, and you can get a free steak. So, yeah, that's gonna put it. Free in steak is minimum B tier. <laughs> free steak is minimum B tier. I agree. I'm not even. Gonna How do you like your that. steak? Probably medium, like medium. Medium? Okay. Yeah, decent. See, I'm like I'm a cowboy, so if you say anything higher than medium, I am legally obligated to kill you. That makes sense. Like. A grown man eats his steak raw. Apple fritters. How we feeling? Okay, so a normal apple fritter, I can I can have one or two bites, but it's just like so sugary and sweet. It's all right, but I don't really like it that much. You're not. A sweet I can't guy. imagine an extra layer of sugar on it. You don't like sweets like that. I don't like sweets like that. I I can agree with you on an apple fritter, like. Apple fritters are one of the most, like, overly southernly sweet things, like, I've had. Oh, yeah. I can like, put it at a smooth seat there, especially if it makes you crack out. It's good. It does make you crack out. Like, Pops eats it, and he's gone. He's he's not in this universe anymore. They have to get him from a different universe. Yeah. I'm, I'm good off the apple fritters. I don't think I... I would eat one, though. I'd definitely run through one off of like. I'd have one. to try it. I'd have to try it. I'll take a bite. I yeah. So I can't say it's D tier because I'd have to try a bite, but see that's my thing too. Every time I always get at least a bite off the apple fritter. I wouldn't like it as the thing. Yeah. Like I know I wouldn't like it, but I I do have to try it. Always, always the excellent challenge. Okay, so th we're gonna have to do this. By the way, we have yeah. to make this up and actually do it. After me and Eli are both past 75k, we're gonna do the excellent challenge RRL. Wait, I'm I'm way closer to that. <laughs> the excellent is coming soon. 
but listen, I'm I not close like to that. Volunteering me to do something in a short amount of time, I'm not prepared for. It. Listen, once oh, I'm past goodness. 75k, we're gonna do it, Ariel. I promise. All right. We're gonna make it happen. Eat like a full. How many? That's 18 eggs. It's 12 eggs, but there's a bunch of other stuff in there. I'm trying to fig like find the actual. I don't like fruit. Like I don't. Well, I like fruit, but I don't like this fruit. Like I don't like cantaloupe. I don't like watery fruits. I don't like okay. melon and honeydew. But I could fuck up some chili and eggs. Twelve eggs, some water, a full a full thing of bread. Oh, that's so much food. <laughs> I could do it though. The chili, Man. I think the chili makes the eggs go down smoother. Probably. Because the chili and the beans and shit like that, it, it'll become like a mush. You're just... Rum, 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 like, like, you'll run through that Okay, shit. 12 eggs with mushrooms and peppers. Mm. So 12 eggs with mushrooms and peppers. Four cups of chili, two cups of American cheese, two biscuits, a five-pound bowl of fruit. Fruit is pretty heavy. Water fruit is pretty heavy. It has a cantaloupe, watermelon, and five pounds of it. <laughs> if I could eat like a majority of the eggs if you ate like a majority of the fruit. Oh, we like. We got to cook up a separate one for each of us. If we're doing this, we're doing it. Like two different excellent challenges is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be fucking crazy five pounds of fruit in an hour no that doesn't humans don't do that nah yeah like i bet it i will say though it tastes really good i couldn't finish it i think i'm getting through most of it though except the fruit eat including half bread. of it and then think about it yeah, if i really tried i think i could do over half of it if you take the biscuits first and then you use them to make sandwiches Oh yeah, you 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 use you make two big sandwiches and the rest of and you run through the eggs and then you use the fruit as a finisher. You could get through it with the water too. You're good. Okay, I could do the excellent. Yeah, I, I got a plan. I'm gonna put that at a B tier because it it still look good food. Oh, it looks good. The cantaloupe just fucks it up for me. Chocolate cake. A chocolate cake just an A or B tier food. It's nice. I like it. It's, it's a nice little dessert. But it has to go A tier because mm. it's free. That's true. And they get it. But they almost get fired for it. But it is free. They do almost get fired for it. But they don't get fired. They don't. Almost. And it is free. Exotic soda. 1984. So this is the 1984 special edition Olympic soda. That they get in the episode uh, Party Pete. It's probably mid as Here's well. Here's the thing about soda. I like Coca-Cola. I like root beer. I'm not a huge soda guy. I'll drink it from time to time. Every single time I get like a limited edition Coca-Cola or like some type of Coca-Cola they only make in a certain place, it always tastes terrible. That's true. That's... Like that's, have you had like spiced cherry Coke? I haven't had spice cherry. That's that is the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> that sounds like ass. The alive pie from Pops. Is now uh, it is Pops pie, and you know it won every year. It did win. It, it won every year. He's possibly yeah, it did start an killing S people. Pie. But would it not kill people if it wasn't a great pie? Yeah, that's a good point. Now it has souls in it it has passion in it now no that makes it better that might be one of the best pies ever like genuinely. probably that's an s tier that's an s tier it's so big everyone can get a slice genuinely that might end like world hunger in a third world country okay the pizza pouches how we feeling so the whole deal with this episode it's not really an episode it's a two minute short that regular show put out and during that short, Mordecai and Rigby are trying to find a way to make it so 
whenever they bite into a pizza pocket, it's not hot on the outside, but cold on the inside. And they figure out how to do it. They have to jump out of a plane and everything, but they've managed to make it so it's a pizza pocket that's uniformly hot all the way throughout. Yeah, and then they, they heat it that specific way, and then it's it's not cold on the inside anymore. They perfect the pizza pouch. I will say the microwave never does the job. It doesn't. I'm I wonder a, if an air fryer would, actually. I might try that. I thought about it, but wouldn't the air fryer, like, explode it quicker? Oh, I would have to... I would probably have to clean it afterwards, yeah. Poke some holes in it, though. Just, like, stab it with a fork like this. See, but then your shit's gonna melt out. Yeah. Yeah, it's a problem with no real solution. But that's an S-tier solution right there. Yes. That is an S-tier solution. Jumping out of a plane for a pizza pocket, I'd do that. I'd, I'd do it a million times over. Golden wings. <laughs> no parachute is crazy. We know those taste terrible. We know that that's just gold, like, paint on a in wing sauce. Yeah, that's a smooth D. I've seen, like, you influencers buy, like, golden wings in L.A., and they said it always tastes trash. Now, I notice you're saving one for last right now. I am. I'm saving, okay. I'm saving my I'm, I'm calling you on it. I'm not going to say which one it is, but I'm calling you on it. I'm saving my favorite. We're doing the Icy I know Pop. Saving, I know what you're saving for last. How are we feeling about Icy Pop? Are you, do you like Frosties? I like Frosties, but... There's definitely liquid nitrogen in there. <laughs> like, this, there has to be something, like, in there. Do you see how cold that was? That, that almost killed Thomas. It did. It That's did. a Russian spy. He grew up on ice blocks. And you can't even let that melt either. Mm. That's a smooth It, it can't melt. But it probably tasted good. It'll probably taste good. It probably tastes good, yeah. I'm going to put him at C, but, but if... If he didn't taste good and he just killed you, he would be D. Too much spice without enough flavor definitely does ruin food. I'm trying to figure out the exact... The Inferno Challenge chicken wings. Like, it's... Like, especially, like, restaurants when they're trying to make something a challenge, they overdo it so you don't complete it. They don't care if it's good. Yeah, I did the, um... The One Chip Challenge and the Gummy Bear Challenge... And at a certain point, it's just the, like, concentrated ingredient in pepper spray meant to give you food poisoning. Jesus. Yeah, that's... Like, this, it's not fun. That's a light D. That's a light D. And here's what. I, I found the, the recipe list for the Inferno Challenge chicken wings. It's oh. mutated ghost pepper, Jesus. hot magma extract, and black <laughs> widow spider venom. <laughs> I'm, I'm not eating that. <laughs> You deadass get a death note heart attack after consuming one bite. That shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Grilled cheese. How are you feeling? That's got to go in A, the grilled cheese deluxe there, because it's got the olives on there, but it's not too fancy. It's just like a nice mix. Of, it's a nice grilled cheese sandwich, you know? I, I've i never had someone try to make a fancy grilled cheese sandwich for me. but That's cooked perfectly. Yeah. I can like... tell. And I haven't had a grilled cheese, like, just thinking about it straight up in a while. <laughs> but what the deluxe grilled cheese sandwich does here is it sticks simple here. It has the olive, but it really is just cheese and bread, and they cook it right. It looks perfectly browned on top. They use, like, the right amount of butter in the pan and everything, right amount of cheese on the sandwich. They That's a good grilled cheese. That's a good grilled cheese. I agree. That's an A-tier grilled cheese. For our final food, though... I'll let you take it away. That, it, the ultimatum. That, I know you love it way more than I do. This is possibly one of the, no, this is the greatest regular show food. Like, I don't care about what any other YouTuber is saying about what regular show food they would choose. This is the one that ends world hunger. This is the one that feeds an entire family with one order. This is a burger wrapped inside of another burger and then put with himalayan ketchup on top and then put inside of another burger and then grilled again <laughs> ready to go that is the ultimatum an s tier burger that comes once every 100 years one of the greatest foods to ever exist
I can nit nitpick my criticisms here. I can say, I don't really like deep fried burgers. I can say, you know what? You put like a burger inside of a burger patty, then the buns inside the patty are going to get all soggy. But at the end of the day, I know what belongs in S tier. It's an S tier sandwich. It's feed. Like, genuinely, this is feeding an entire family. Like, for a few days. Yeah. One like, I, I can look throughout this list and I really can't think of anything that deserves to be over it. Genuinely. In fact, I'm going to put it at the front. It's, it, it's, it's the best regular show food. Nothing's topping it. Ultimatum all day. I'm. I could eat an ultimatum once every two weeks, and that's crazy. Probably, yeah. Damn, I might get a burger later. I'm, I might get a burger after this. No, that's that's. I think this is our complete regular show food list. Do you agree? That has to be it. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. If y'all have... have to do an honorable mention though. Even though it's just a regular sandwich, it is so funny. What? Which one? The ten foot sandwich. Oh, the ten foot <laughs> sandwich. Oh shit, the ten foot Vince sandwich. Is being nice to everybody, he's like, guys, pick a sandwich off of this menu, and I'll buy it for you. The and eighty-five dollar sandwich. Just straight assholes. They're like. Yo, let's get this $85 10 foot long sandwich. <laughs> no, they actually fucking suck. They suck so much. <laughs> and it's so funny because Benson, the entire time, he's just so angry. And he's forced to suffer as they. Every single picture you will find of Benson holding that sandwich, he is so mad. Imagine you just trying to be a good boss and your employees decide to fuck you with a 10 foot sandwich. <laughs> Life is crazy. And then he makes them eat it, and then they somehow do. Another honorable mention, though, is going to be them wings. Like, the regular wings they eat all the time. Oh, yeah. Like, those, like, the one, whatever restaurant they go to, those wings are busting. Rigby has damn near died on the same table he ate those wings. I know those wings are good. I Do you know what the, is it Wing Kingdom? Is Wing Kingdom. Wing Kingdom wings. I got a great image. Listen, I'm going to throw the image on this. The Wing Kingdom wings, like, when I'm editing, are probably the best regular show food, period. Aside from the probably. Ultimate Medium. Because the Ultimate Medium only comes once every 100 years. Wing Kingdom is every week. Thinking that it's happening, it's shutting me a tragedy.